Today we're going to be tasting soil from two different farms. One is Phil Foster's farm, which is the lighter of the two soils, and one is from uh, T&D Willow Farm. In Phil Foster's farm, the uh, Romana beans were grown mm -hmm. in the soil, and T&D Willie, the zucchini was grown. So, what we're going to do, we're not actually going to taste the dirt, even though all of us probably did as children. I didn't taste dirt till I was five. I lived in Manhattan, then I moved to the country, that's when I tasted dirt. So, this is reminding me of it. Mm. It's so interesting because there's not a smell to the bean, but you do get the connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it in the taste, not the smell of the bean, but the taste yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting. Rush of water. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel that connection with, uh, with the bean. It's funny. The dirt is what's really striking, even though it's clearly wet. Mm -hmm. It was reminding me of a lot of things. <laughs> You'll really taste the moisture in the bean, like it's a very fresh um, bean that's really taken in a lot of, um, mm -hmm. uh, of the water. And the soil is obviously sending up the the right uh, water up to the bean to make it, you know, crunchy and taste good. It has a nice um, creaminess and sweetness, natural sugar in the bean. You can really, you can really s smell that sort of creaminess in the, mm -hmm. the soil. But it's true, there's this quality of the water in the soil that you taste the water in the bean. They seem to be very similar that way. Mmm, yeah, that's mm -hmm. kind of, mm. Yeah, there's definitely some mineral in there. It's very, um, it does, it smells like chocolate to me. Isn't that interesting? Just a little bit. Because chocolate, chocolate is very earthy. Yeah. Chocolate is very earthy. Mm -hmm. I think the association when you when you actually smell the soil while you're chewing. So, so what we're going to do next is try uh, the soil from T&D Willie Farm. Okay. okay. Must be really interesting to taste for them to taste their soil year after year and really appreciate the differences as they add more to it, as they really, they grow their soil. That's, I mm, love that. This one is a lot more subtle. This is so different. Actually, I think this is more complex. There's more, it's, it's, it's more complex because you smell things, but it's all mm. subtle. If that makes sense. Mm. There's, there's things going on, but it's very subtle. It's almost like I get citrus out of this. This one's a little bit like a wine in that, like a red wine where it's actually, the scent is coming out over a long period of time. Like it wasn't there at the beginning, but now there's kind of these, there's a little bit of this sort of, of of like hay quality that you would get, but it's very subtle, but it wasn't there in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As the water, as it... Yeah, it just feels like it's gonna, even over a little bit more time, release more and more of that flavor. And I think the squash, the, the squash is a little bit more subtle. It's a, it's a muted flavor anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, I did have that sensation while I was chewing the zucchini, feeling like I was chewing the dirt. Interesting. I'm intrigued. Well, thank you very much. Okay.